Tippity type type Torp. testing. Torp twop. Are we recording? Of course. Oh. But no, you were saying so we can look at a calendar. Do you have a calendar handy? And try to perceive it. Try to gaze into the future. Uh, so we leave a week from tomorrow. Yes. On fourth. Yep. Keith Gerald Holkins leaving on the first. Okay. So do you know when we come back? Uh, the eighth. Eight. So we're gonna need Wednesday, a Friday. Well, actually, you you come back on the seventh. I come back on the seventh. Okay. So you you must leave that Monday. Probably. We need a Wednesday, a Friday, and a Monday, and then probably another Wednesday because you're gonna be flying on that Tuesday. Yeah. Let's see. So Australia, but they don't all need to be produced because one of them gets produced on stage. One will get done there. Yeah. Right. Yeah, probably that gets that Monday strip. Yeah, and th- and then, but really, we could put that the strip up from the panel any time if we wanted to do something that mm-hmm. was linear uh, storyline. We just have to produce it. Uh, listen, I'm not. Listen, let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> you just think something linear. Yeah, and also storyline implies you know a linear concept that's executed in a specific way. I don't want to sure. time myself. No. That's that. an anchor yeah. around our necks. Nay. But for right now, we should probably write one for this podcast. Yeah. And, and then, then just keep writing exactly. as many as we can Wednesday. until we die. Yeah, exactly. So then we go, I was like, yeah, yeah. And you're just going to have to fucking just head down. Yeah. I may do some a couple home days this yeah. week to try so to So it's like, um, what's the best scenario? Probably something that takes place either during a blizzard or Lots of white would be a, great. A power outage. Yeah. Yeah, just eyeballs. Just eyeballs. Or it, it could be about beholders in the dark. Yeah. Then I'm just looking at one eye. You know, <laughs> that's, that's huge saving. Well, no, no, they have to, no there, there, there's some Oh, but then they have there's the many stocks. smaller eyes. They got them stocks. Them stocks. Uh, that's what I need. How is that's what I need. No, who, who knows? Um, <laughs> that you want, you want that situation where you go. It's like you're you're on the dating site, and then it's like I don't know. I feel like I feel like we really made a connection, but it's a beholder. And you get to dinner, and you're like, "Hey, you didn't say anything about your stalks." No, no. You know what would be would be great is that is that Tycho would be overjoyed. Wow, you didn't say anything about your stalks. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah. <laughs> you get there, and it's like in that in that panel two of this concept. It's like. The, it's like the surprise. It's supposed to be a bad surprise, right, yeah. But then it's like, man, I can work with this. <laughs> you know, when you took your picture, you didn't show any of the stocks. Yeah. And, uh, whew, I gotta say, <laughs> you see what? the beholder taking it from that slightly above angle, kind of like looking up at the camera, <laughs> trying to hide all of the all with, of her stocks with the big anti magic eye. Yeah. Uh, all right, but we need a strip. Well, no, I, I'm I'm gonna put beholder dating on here. Yeah, both of us are married. Listen, this the moment we stop looking, chasing skirt, what <laughs> or whatever. The moment we just stop <laughs> chasing, um, hovering balls of evil, sentient gas and eyes. Just because we got a ring on this finger, you know. <laughs> I don't know. There's lots of ways you could. There's lots of ways that you could work it. I mean, Tycho is obviously 100 percent after these beasts. That's true. You know what I mean? Yeah. There was a fucking awesome. There was a really awesome one that we did about monsters in um, Dragon Age. Yes. Like how how Tycho was like attracted to these monsters from Dragon Age. Yeah, it was some kind of young dragon or something like that. Yeah, Dragonling. Yeah, Dragonling. <laughs> we do have Halloween in there too. We might want to think about a Halloween strip. True. It's coming up. It's a holiday. It's real. Despite what the public school system is trying to tell me. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh, here. Here's the strip. It's called Baste Me With Your Corrosive Saliva. <laughs> <laughs> this is a horrible monster you've drawn here. You've heard it, and it's true. 
the romance options in Dragon Age 2 were woefully inadequate. What, Bioware? Are you saying the hideous Strider isn't an appropriate avenue for my affections? <laughs> Is it immune to lust? <laughs> when, <laughs> when I see a tender young dragonling in the moonlight, I don't reach for my frost axe. I want those claws on my dick. But... <laughs> But, this, but you've drawn a person with no pants. Yeah. And then you've drawn a dragonling that's like, I don't know how this is going to go. <laughs> He's confused. I remember that dragon. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm glad. I'm glad that I have a job where creating a comic like that happens. Regularly. We try to laugh at least once a day. We try to laugh at least once a day. Do your kids have their Halloween costumes picked out? Yes. Ronya wants to be a zombie cheerleader. Okay. And Elliot wants to be... Some kind of Minecraft thing. Oh, really? I forget what it is. Hmm. They keep adding new monsters and patches. Yeah. You know, my kids have not been playing Minecraft. It's sort of fallen off at home. That's weird. Yeah. You should take them to a doctor. I'm not complaining. I was getting kind of sick of that. That's like Elliot's favorite thing. It's what he wants. Like what he wants from me as a father. Yeah. It's like not any of the regular father things. What he wants is for me to ask him an endless stream of trivia questions about Minecraft. About Minecraft, he's like, "Ask me anything, anything I have." Yeah, I have, and I have to see a lot of things too. Like I know it's cute. You made the thing; it works. I love it. It's but like the hundredth time, I you, like, you want to show me how this door opens? You got some redstone. Okay. Yeah. Beep beep. Yeah. Good job. I get it. <laughs> so what's going on with the um? What's going on with this sick aversion that your children have to Minecraft? Uh, well, it got it just got pushed into other games. Gabe's friends picked up Destiny finally, like two years late, and uh, so he oh. he deleted one of his characters so that he could pl- ju- start a new character with them. Well, that makes sense to me. Yeah. Uh, let's see what did I do this weekend? Bunch of housework shit. That's yeah. Too interesting. I mean, that's that's often that's sort of what's going on. Like, it's a good time to do it. In the garage, had to move a bed. The from garage? My parents' house to my house. What? Where did you put it? In they the got yard? a new house that had a built in Murphy bed. Oh, yeah? That they were, didn't need, and they, they were like, Do you have any desire for this bed? And Gabe needed a new bed. And so my dad and I decided to take apart this Murphy bed, like take it out of there house. And we rented a pickup truck and moved it to my house. Oh, it folds up and then. Yeah, you like. Attach it to the wall, and when it's up, there's like a desk that comes down. So you can sit at the desk and do his homework, and you can put the desk up and then pull the bed down. Like, yeah, it's actually really cool. No, that makes sense to and me. They were just, you know, it's just gonna go to the dump otherwise, probably. So, but it was a pain in the fucking ass to move. Jesus, that was my Saturday. All that wood, all that wood, bolts, shit. But you, you, know, you are correct. Friday is certainly, well, Monday is legit like Halloween. Monday is Halloween. It's coming up. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. Right? But honestly, you can lead up to it. You can have as many Halloween strips as you want. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, we could do a, a storyline about yeah. Halloween. You know, storyline and then another storyline. It's just like... Didn't we do a Twisp and Catsby Halloween once where... Yes. It's about ghosts. Ghosts? It's about in, in their... But they're your ghosts or something. No, where they live, yes. <laughs> I forget. Yeah, you know, yeah. Where they live... Where, where they live the like a ghost of your dead self comes back and you have to be really nice to them yeah or else they'll stay <laughs> yeah you have to be polite stop being polite start being raw <laughs> but no no it's like we got 20 days we got like that one weekend with uh titanfall before we leave yeah we jump on that plane have you had a chance to crack into Civ? yeah karen and i started a game together I don't know if I'm going to survive this first one. I find that the first few Civ games are like, remember how to play Civ and like get your sort of feet under you and get your ass kicked. Get your ass kicked. I got real barbarian trubs right now. Are you playing with Kara or like opposing Kara or like? We haven't even met each other. Oh, we okay. have a peace treaty. I mean, assuming we find each other, we will be civil. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's real good. I think that they added religion in one of the expansions after five that i never played oh religion's always been in there being able to choose your pantheon i don't remember that i don't know about a specific i get to pick which sort of god these people worship like river goddess uh stars (laughs) that that doesn't ring a bell yeah but 
religion has definitely had different sure. manifestations in the game. It's a big deal. But getting to decide who their god is. Yeah, it's pretty smooth. It's pretty fun. It might be fun for the stream. Oh, yeah, I think so. I think so. Just, just set up a game. Yeah. Is it just name shit? Yeah, because the, the game I've got going right now is action-packed. Yeah, it, 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 right from the outset? Yeah, barbarians are on my doorstep. <laughs> Jump at the gates? At the gates. That's where, that's where they hang out. They hang out at gates. They don't even know what the gate is for. No, but they just hang out. They linger. <laughs> they loiter. They're just drawn to it. Yeah. You need to put up a sign. No barbarian loitering. Or maybe there's like a, a high-pitched sound that only barbarians can hear. Are there still barbarians that would be offended at their race's portrayal? And um, I mean, are there is there a proud barbarian culture? It's like, hey, we're not all barbarians. Well, we're all we're, well, we, are, we all are barbarians, but <laughs> but not like that. Uh, <laughs> no, I think I think barbarian is a yeah, it's a more of a culture than a race. I think. Yeah, I think so too. But are there people who still be like, you know, I come from there's a long line people, of barbarians. There's definitely people who try to like, they try to like reclaim like pagan oh, yeah. rights and things like That's that. True. One occasionally dates these people. Oh, this is like last week? No, no. One does occasionally and you get roped into a lot of rituals. That's all I'm saying. Like it's <laughs> <laughs> dating a witch has, is complex. That sounds like a song title. Yeah. I'm, I need. I need to get... I need to go get Josh's mandolin. Pick and strum on that thing. Yeah. Uh, all right. So what are you thinking? Halloween? Yeah. Costumes are a thing. Ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> These are all... Very Halloween. Halloween-themed ideas. What if their house is haunted? Mm-hmm. What if they get... What if Gabe and Tycho get trapped in a scary video game? What if they get transported inside their favorite video game? <laughs> no, is- I didn't say that. The what devil. if the comic becomes like a psychological thriller for a few strips? I would do it. Yeah. There's nothing I wouldn't do. I should put up another link to the Halloween pins. Oh, and I have played some Atlas Reactor now. Is that so? Uh, I think it definitely is much faster to get into a game when you pay for the when you buy the game. Really? Yeah, I noticed the queue time was much quicker. Does, did you? So I, I wonder what pool they're building. I don't know. So did you end, you end up grabbing it? Yeah, I bought the... So you have all the champs? Yeah. Who do you like to play as? The, um, there's like, I still actually really like the, I don't know their names, the fish guy who heals. Yeah, Dr. Finn. I like him. And I like the big guy in the robot suit, who's like a cyborg. Garrison? Yes, Garrison. The one that has that cool ability to like activate the missile pod. Yeah, he starts the missiles and then in turn later they launch. Yeah, yeah. And the best part is that depending on where they land, you can use his ability to like jump around to get in the right place. Yeah, they're fun because of when because of that fucking turn thing. Yeah, I definitely liked it. I I wish that I liked the characters more. Yeah, you know, honestly, I figured that the characters were gonna keep were gonna keep you out of it completely. They might. I might still go back to it. I played some this weekend. I I just wish they were more compelling characters. No, tell me what you mean by that. I'm not saying that. I don't know. I need to right talk. To, I want to talk to Kiko about it. There's something that that it's it's very in that MOBA continuum by which I mean in this case just a cast. If you got that roster, yeah, it's true for a lot of them not to not to have. It is. I think most of them don't have interesting characters, and I don't play many character like what do you call these games? Character based. Well, sometimes I mean, sometimes they are MOBAs, but. I don't know. I'm not sure we have a super good term for this. This is a this is a tactics game. When you look at Overwatch, people were drawing fan art and of those characters. Oh, before it came out. Before it even came out. Like those designs are so good that you cannot help but love every single one of them. Even the characters you don't, you don't play, play as. as. You, you still want to see them. You still want to see them. And you still want to unlock skins for them. Right, like you still want to, you still love them. Well, yeah, you still, you still go into their roster and and go down the unlockables. Yeah, and I think I do that. Law has gotten better at that. It was always pretty good, but it's gotten better even recently. I think a lot of them just, I don't give a shit about these characters. They seem like first idea characters. Like we need a gun guy, we need a weird fish guy, a gunsman. We need a, you know, like I don't know. They don't. They do just. Do not grab me. Uh, my question was really about like, 
Is it that there isn't a coherent overall thing? Uh, I don't, I don't I, think I don't, so. I don't think that's it. No, because... No. I mean, because LOL and Overwatch... I mean, Overwatch is some, some stuff holding it all together. Yeah. Well, after you talk to Kiko, let me know. Yeah, I want to talk to him about it. I can't quite put my finger on it. Yeah, but I could never let something like that get between me and an interesting system. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, can, I see that. Well, yeah, you don't... It doesn't matter to you. Well, it matters to me as an additive, but it can't subtract. Mm. Right? Yeah. It, I, you don't lose points for it. You start with points. Yeah. I start at zero. Exactly. And bad art takes me below it, and then good mechanics maybe take me to zero. <laughs> yeah. Maybe come back <laughs> so, up and so you're still zero. So maybe I'll keep playing it. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Well, in any case... You know, you could play it with me. I would like to try it. Yeah, because for a long time, I for a long time I just was solo in there. Yeah, and then when you, when you start playing with another person in the video game, hmm. uh, I know what you meant. Yeah, when you start playing like with someone else, and you can sort of like get some strategies. When I like playing support in there. Yeah, I was gonna say, and, and I I have a hard time with it. I, yeah. have a, I have a hard time doing the support role in that. I mean, usually I play support. Usually you do, yeah. And so I don't know why it's like that here, but here I'm, I, I get kills. Like I actually put most of the damage in yeah. for these people. I have like six or 700 damage rounds. Like it's normal. Yeah. It ain't no thing. And they do this thing where they have a bunch of voice work, like Overwatch, which I guess is supposed to sort of imply relationships between these characters and make you care more about them. But... In Overwatch, we hear a voice line, and we're like, "Oh shit! Did you hear that line that Mercy just said to Reinhardt?" Well, it's yeah, and it's because because they're like they're like Easter eggs. Yeah, and in this one, it's just noise. Like, they, just, they just they just bother you. Yeah, like their personalities. Yeah, but in the interim period, what do we create? What do we create? Right now, I'm thinking about Titanfall, Atlas Reactor. And this is the comic for Civ. Wednesday. Yeah, Civ might be good. This Titanfall comes out Friday. Yeah. And, I, you know, I do want to play it. Yeah, but, that, I mean, that might be good for... <sighs> let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can get a couple of these in here. Let me think about Civ. But, yeah, the early turns or the, the co-op thing where you have the peace treaty. Yeah. Can you set up a peace treaty before you know where they are? No. Yeah. So you, you sent out some scouts. We have scouts out looking... I had just about dealt with these barbarians that were hitting me from the south when all of a sudden these motherfuckers on horseback showed up <laughs> from the north, and I was not... I'm not into horses yet. It wasn't the right time? No. My guys do not know how to deal with a, a horse. I mean, is it like... It's, it's a situation where it's like, have they... Do they even know about horses yet? <laughs> They've probably never even seen a horse. Like, you have to invent horses. Yeah. What, it was like, it's like a big... It's like an animal car. Basic, but they they wouldn't have cars either, Jerry. I realized it when I said it, and then I was like, "It's cool. He's gonna let me. He's gonna let me escape." <laughs> but you know, why would way. I? Yeah, exactly. Why would I? Um, I also had a super good time role playing on role play. Right. I need to think about Sim for just a little bit. No, I I think there might be something to the horse thing. Like, what the fuck are those? <laughs> I don't have horses yet. What are those? They don't even have a horse. They, even know, they don't even have the word for horse. Yeah. There's, the idea is like, they see those horses, they're like, yeah, I can't do anything with those. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck that is. I'm just going to leave that over there. There's more important things, like mysticism. Like, <laughs> like coins. I, I invest in mystic, mysticism early. <clears throat> they don't know what a horse is, but they do think I'm a wizard. <laughs> a wizard king. We did have a. I liked the strip that we did where the first society that can invent the cold stone. Oh, yeah. It's, a, it's one of the victory conditions. That's the top. Yeah, I forgot. That's the about top. That one. But yeah, prioritizing like what your civilization, like what your culture is about early on is good. Yeah. And, and that's also a point of dis I think that would be a point of distinction between Tycho and Gabe's characters, too. Yeah, it could be that your people show up. Like, they, you invest in irrigation and pottery and <laughs> writing. Right? Like in, I've invested in mysticism. <laughs> they worship a river goddess. Yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure it helps. I'm sure you're over there doing wizard shit with the water. Probably. I want to look at there if there's a way to see that tree. 
Ah, the diplomatic victory condition has been replaced with a new religious victory condition. Ah. That's an interesting choice. What uh, civilization are you using? Started me off with the Greek Greek one. Pretty cool. So mysticism, or you get oracles, inspiration policy, revelation policy. You can found a pantheon. So I invested in mysticism, games and recreation, <laughs> and drama and poetry. <laughs> Yeah, that almost seems like Tycho. Yeah, it kind of does, huh? Mysticism, <laughs> games and recreation. Poetry. We have a good time. <laughs> we have a good time. <laughs> we like to have fun. You know, what, what can I say? <laughs> you know, what can I say? We like to have fun. <laughs> That's kind of what we're about. I'm, I'm going to destroy your civilization. <laughs> what if I beat you at a game of chess? No. <laughs> My thing still happens. <laughs> Whoa, what are you doing? I'm, I'm burning all your farms. I'm burning everything. I'm burning, burning all your farms. And... <laughs> I don't understand. We've been playing for hours. You don't have any warriors? <laughs> I went a different way. You know, my civilization is founded on, on different principles, on more noble principles <laughs> than bloodshed. <laughs> yeah. I've invested in mysticism, games, and recreation. Poetry. <laughs> Drama and poetry. Drama and poetry. I've, I've, I've invested in things like <laughs> mysticism, games and recreation, <laughs> drama and poetry. You know what? We like to have fun. You know, we like to have fun. My civilization isn't about cutting people open. <laughs> well, your civilization is about to get destroyed. <laughs> in chess? <laughs> Well, I'm going to burn everything you've built and then take over your capital and then conquer your capital. Maybe they can write a play about how their civilization was destroyed by a handsome god king from the north <laughs> who rode in on steel steeds. On <laughs> metal horses. <laughs> metal horses. A handsome military genius. No, God King is better. Oh. I love it. Who invented the metal horse. <laughs> this is all really... You know what? Wait, have fun. That's great news for me. That's great news for me. <laughs> Maybe you can write a play about how you were conquered by a handsome God King from the North who invented the metal horse. I don't have any warriors? <laughs> My civilization isn't about that. We went a different way. <laughs> I've invested in things like mysticism, games and recreation, drama and poetry. You know what? <laughs> we like, like to have, have fun. fun. This, that's great news for me. <laughs> it's just like up on the rampart. Yeah. I like it. Oh, is that, is that the punch you think? Well, yeah, yeah. Well, have fun is... Frame two. Okay. And then the great news for me, you can write a play about how you were conquered by a handsome god king from the north who invented the metal horse. I like, but yeah, it seems very gay to me. Is there a quick line that Tycho could have there? <laughs> you know, we like to have fun. It's all great news for me. <laughs> when I burn all this down, <laughs> maybe you can write a play. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, when I burn all this down, maybe you can write a play where you get conquered by a handsome god king from the north who invented the metal horse. About how you were... Yeah. Yeah. Ollie, about how you were? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Oh, when I cast the pot, it's like I cast the rod, keeping it odd like a motherfucker gas robot. I'm really cod. Today's fresh catch. I mean a podcast. Something about nets. Yes, it gets better when it's winter. I'm fettered by my fish gear. Catch and release. Get in that crease when my fish near. Talk about a plant best laid off that stray. And yes, I crave that tuna with his peck fins blade. But while I'm glistening from the whole sea, you better listen into TLC. I got that. I got that wild caught salmon. It's tender and it's moist. Downloadable content. A podcast of choice. Jesus.